today I'm going to do a hair tutorial inspired by Ashley Benson from the movie that just came out called Spring Breakers, which I haven't seen yet, but I've seen a lot of pictures on Instagram and on E! News and stuff. And if you guys have seen the movie, let me know how it is because I'm curious. I kind of admired Ashley's hair because it's like a similar length and color to mine, so I think that like always like draws my attention because I'm like, ooh, I can make my hair look like that. Um, and I'm really happy that I did notice it because with like summer coming up and like beachy vacations and my hair hasn't been this short in a really long time I was like what am I gonna do for beach hair because you know beach hair is commonly like the really long messy waves but you can still have cool messy waves if you have shorter hair and I'm gonna show you how to do it today and if you want to see how I did this look then just keep watching okay so starting off when my hair was dry I sprayed it with not your mother's beach babe texturizing sea salt spray and then I put a little bit of the Beach Babe texturizing hair cream in it and then I just kind of went like this. I don't like to scrunch it from the bottom because then it just gets like frizzy on the bottom so I just kind of did that and I just blow dried it a little bit to speed up the process but I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit more of this in my hair. Then I'm going to spray some heat protectant spray in my hair. This is the Tresemme Platinum Strength Heat Protectant. Give it some natural wave. If the product is drying a little bit. I'm going to turn on my Conair 1 inch curling iron. If you have a 1 inch rod, that would work perfect. Um, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to work with what I got. And Ashley has a really messy side part, so I went ahead and did that. I just kind of took my comb and separated my hair wherever it wanted to fall, and it just makes it look really more natural that way instead of like a perfectly straight line. And that's what we're going for, natural and peachy. So when your hair is ready to be curled, we're going to separate it into take about a third of your hair, third bottom of your hair, and then just pin up the rest of it. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of take random pieces of hair, um, but generally about one to one and a half inch, but just kind of work with whatever you grab because that's just going to make it look more imperfect and more natural. We're just going to put our curling iron down and wrap it around and bring it all the way to the end. And as you can see, I didn't do it perfectly and I'm leaving some kind of spare pieces out, but that's good. It just makes it look messier. Some pieces are just going to be curlier than others, and that is perfectly fine and okay if you're going for this look. Alright, and then with the remainder of the hair, I'm just going to actually separate like a fourth of the top and then just pin that up so... The majority of that top section we're going to take now. Then we're going to do the same technique but take a little bit bigger section, so about one and a half to two inch thick pieces, pieces of hair. And I don't know if you could tell, but I've been just continuously curling, um, facing the curls away from my face, so... So then with our top layer, she has like one piece kind of down in the front, so I'm just going to run my curling iron with that and kind of cramp it into my face, because that's how hers is. Then I'm going to take the section right next to that and I'm going to take about two to three inches, just a big section, 
and wrap that around my curling iron away from my face. Then I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller section. The top section is a little um, less curled than the bottom section, so that's why I'm taking really large sections. And then after I do this, I'm just going to kind of go through and pull out some smaller pieces just to give it a little bit more texture. I go up and down with my curling iron with this. My friend does that, and I feel like it like warms up the hair faster, so sometimes I do that. start to messing it up, kind of get the idea of how it looks. We're going through and picking up smaller pieces. Alright, and then when your hair is full of messy curls, starting with smaller pieces, building up to these big, partially straight pieces on top, um, I'm going to take a pomade. I'm today going to use the Garnier Fruity Surf Hair. I'm just using all these beach hair products and might as well keep it up. And this one's not really sticky too, so I like that. I'm gonna put some of this on the straight piece. And I'm just gonna take random curls and just put this in it. And even though I just washed my hair, I'm doing this for you guys because I know you guys want to know how to get the look. I'm going to put some of this surf hair like right in my roots to make it look a little dirtier. That is not mandatory. You can still have peachy hair without making it look dirty, but you know, gotta go big or go home today. Just kind of mess it up and play with it and the more you do, the more you're going to look like her because I think she might have done this and then gone to bed and then took the pictures because her hair is just the perfect bedhead. So yeah, that completes the look for today. It's just really messy beach waves and I'm really glad that Ashley did her hair like this or her hairstylist did her hair like this because now I know how I'm gonna rock my hair when I go on my beachy vacations and when I'm trying to make it look like I just got done surfing and I always look like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions comments, concerns, please let me know. And, oh yeah, this was one of your guys' ideas. I'm really excited about it. If you do your hair similar to this or try this technique or this look, post it on Instagram or Twitter and hashtag StyleByDanny. That way we can just all share when we do some of my tutorials. I think it'd be really fun and then I will go like and comment your pictures because I'm obsessed with Instagram and Twitter. So, please do that. That'd be so much fun. And I would love to see how your, uh, how my hairstyles look on you guys. So, yeah, do that. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.